Jeremy Milosevic, trumpet player in New York City. I'm sitting here in my sound booth right now, as you can see. I've been lucky to be here and performing on Broadway the past 20 years or so, and also performing in Broadway tours in Minneapolis prior to that, thanks to my teachers, Robert Baca, who still teaches at the University of Wisconsin at Eau Claire, and to Mr. Adam, William Adam, who taught for a very long time at Indiana University. I'd like to share one mindset idea I learned from them, and, and specifically, I think I, Charlie Davis, uh, who I t did study with and who helped me when I was having some problems, mentioned this to me and I found it to be very, very valuable. And it is a mindset of when you're playing, first and foremost, we have to have a, a beautiful sound and we want everything to, to, to come out beautifully. So you envision that sound, but then next, your air going in and out is a huge factor of whether or not that will happen. So, for example, you know, when you take your breath in, we can then speak and either use a sentence or count numbers. I'll use numbers as an example. When you take your breath in and exhale, you kind of want it to be pretty relaxed. Maybe something like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's kind of still my natural speaking voice versus getting super tight where you're you're getting all jacked up for a high note or whatever and you're one, two, three. If you do that, put your trumpet up and just try the that simple exercise. See if you're able to to speak a sentence or count that relaxed. And if you're not, there are probably some problems. So I put together two little uh, two short examples where one is in the comfort of my living room i'm playing hazy joy of man's desiring a very lyrical part and then i play it up an octave just to show I, the upper register i still try to think of it as this beautiful lyrical singing register and not something to be smashed nailed or like pasted it's floated that's the goal is that's how i'm thinking of it is floating those notes and so that's in the first example. So before you listen to it and go, oh, boo, you know, you're in your living room like, ah, you know, big deal. Like everyone can do that. Yeah, maybe everyone can. But then listen to the next example where I'm in the real world of music and I'm sitting in the orchestra pit for at the Schubert Theater playing lead trumpet in Hello, Dolly. And the environment there required uh, just an incredible amount of volume and just because of our surroundings. And I had the same mindset. I just was singing, singing. And you're gonna hear A and B, they're so different from each other, but the mindset is the same. So take a listen. So there you go. You can hear how you need to play to the environment. The comfort of your living room is one thing. Being in the real world, 
totally different and there's no riding the microphone playing that part that lead trumpet part for hello dolly on broadway there's just that's not going to happen uh you need to really just put the sound out there and so you know on on a final note i just want to mention that you know if any of this stuff sounds interesting to you 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 know you can find some of Mr. Adams' students all across the country. So wherever you live, someone is probably close to you, and I highly recommend taking a lesson in person. So, uh, for example, in Wisconsin, at Eau Claire, you've got Bob Baca, you've got Carl Seavers in Oklahoma, Charlie Davis and Bob Slack in Los Angeles, Jay Coble is in Tampa, Florida, Jim Stokes, I forget where he is, I think he is at West Virginia maybe, um, I'm not 100% sure, but somewhere around there you can Google all this information. Greg Wings in Kentucky. Mike Hackett is in southern Wisconsin, I think at Madison. I'm available in New York City, you know, just reach out and we'll find a time. John Harbaugh is in Washington, and there are many others. That's just a short, a short list of people. But they all study with Mr. Adam a lot, and they can convey a lot of good information uh, and make the trumpet maybe a little easier to play hopefully for you too so i could go into way more depth but it's so beyond the scope of this video i'm just you know i'll add more information later in other videos but for now please feel free to leave a comment below all the youtubers do this so leave a comment below if you have any questions i'll try to get back to you and subscribe and i'll do a weekly video and then go ahead and look in my banner and click the get great gigs button it's going to take you to uh something i set up where i'm i'm sharing a recording of a show i did in the you know from the perspective of the orchestra pit and i go into much more detail and the link is shows.jeremymilos.com once again, it's shows.jeremymilos.com. If you just click that link, it'll take you right there. And I hope to uh, be able to share some more uh, good value with you all and hopefully make the trumpet a little easier to play. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.